Hello to beautiful soul. Welcome to another weekly angel oracle card forecast for the week of June the 26th to July the 2nd. I mean, can you believe it? We're already hitting July. So in this video, I want to share with you some guidance around this week. Now, last week we had the summer solstice and the energies were absolutely off the chart with the Schumann resonance really spiking and so much has been happening last week. So let's just tune in. Let's just ask our team of guides, the angels, for guidance of what is most important for us to know for this coming week so we can really make the most out of all that has really unfolded since the solstice, really helping us on our path or ascension. Okay, so I got the three cards for the beginning, the mid, and the end of the week. So the first card, which is the beginning of the week, is health. It's so important that you really focus on your health now moving forward because your health, if your health is not good, well, then you're not really operating at 100%. So now it's really that invitation to uh, allow yourself to really nurture yourself more, to really take better care of yourself. Maybe even look over your life to see where are you not really paying much attention to your health. Maybe you're not sleeping enough or maybe you're sleeping too much or maybe you don't have really a good sleep hygiene. Maybe even you're diet needs a little overhaul or even your your physical activity so now the beginning of the week is really because when you're looking at this card you see like when when you have this this vibrant health you're also vibrating you're uh, you're vibrating higher you're you're also glowing and that's also what then helps you then really stay in alignment with who you are and your path and everything that is meant to unfold in your life. So here allow yourself to really get some clarity of where are you maybe not in alignment with you know your vitality, your, your perfect health and then make some adjustments there. Then the mid, mid of the week is I am beautiful and this is so it, this is such a beautiful card because you are already enough. If you ever felt like that you're not good enough, you can't do certain things or whatnot, this is an invitation for you to really see the beauty of that lays within you, of how capable you are, how good you already are, how much is really possible for you. Because when you open yourself up, because you have that beauty within you that now also is asking to be expressed. Because the more you express who you are deep within, uh, you're stepping more into alignment. And that's really what is important now since the, the solstice last week. Now it's really the invitation to move forward, to really take better care of ourselves. That's why the first card, the beginning of the week is all about that health, right? It's because when you focus on your health, then you also feel better about yourself. And then when you're really tapping into this, like, I'm really beautiful. I'm really an amazing soul. I have all that I need is available to me and that I can do the things that I'm meant to be doing and this is such a beautiful card like there's so much untapped potential within you that now you're being asked to really tap into to uncover and then to acknowledge so allow yourself to really take some time midweek to really tune in and connect with that beautiful self that you are within you know your soul your higher self that that true being that you are deep within because the more you embrace that the more you embrace who you truly are deep within then your life will then reflect that back at you you will then receive the things that you want you will experience all the beautiful things that you would like to experience and then the final card for end of the week is that of fulfillment. Focus more on the things that really fulfill you. And this is more important now than ever before because so much has happened with the souls. So, so many shifts has, have happened. And now we're really being nudged to really move forward, to really elevate our path, to elevate the things we're doing, to really follow our soul's calling, do the things that br really bring us that deep fulfillment. Because when you really step onto the path here this is a path of fulfillment it's not just something that you do here and there but it is a path that you walk upon on a daily basis every single day you follow that path of deeper fulfillment you're really tuning in on a daily basis to see okay what would bring me that deep fulfillment today what can i do to make a bigger impact in the world what can i do to serve myself in a higher way what can i do to serve other people in a higher way what would bring me that deep inner fulfillment and what would put a smile on my face? What would make my heart sing? These are some questions you may want to ponder upon every day because 
the path of fulfillment, it's truly that. It is a path. It is a, a it is something that you dedicate your efforts to, your attention to, because you don't just want to do it every once in a while, because then you're actually moving back and forth out of alignment and into alignment. Because whenever you're doing something that deeply fulfills you, you are in alignment. Whenever you're doing something that doesn't fulfill you, that you think you need to do, you have to do, that moves you out of alignment. Now, of course, I get it. If you are in a job or if you if you have certain situations in your life that you just kind of have to do, I completely get that. But then still dedicate a lot of your other time on the things that truly fulfill you. And sometimes just looking at things that the things that you're really those obligations, the things you have to do, the, the situation you feel like you're stuck in, looking at it from a different perspective can also help stay in alignment because everything in your life is happening for a reason. It's helping you on your path moving forward. And even those situations you feel like you're stuck in, they are serving you in a particular way to then maybe help you move forward. You can then look at it from, well, this is serving me right now to help me get to wherever I want to be. But then it's about honoring and acknowledging the things that are out of alignment and whatever you can do to step back into alignment. And this goes back to doing the things that deeply fulfill you can help you shift that energy around. But this is really what is at offer here this week is really beginning of the week, focus on your health. Midweek is really tap into that. I am beautiful. Seeing how beautiful you are within and really shine that forth, really uh, embracing all of who you are. And then end of the week is all about that fulfillment. And the way you can really make the most of this is pay attention to what's been coming up for you, you know, throughout your life, throughout your day. Just pay attention what is coming up around the area of health around the area of really seeing yourself for who you you truly are and about fulfillment. And wherever you're noticing that there are some misalignments happening or things are not uh, how you would like them to be, tune into that. Allow yourself to see, well, what can I learn from this? What is the message here? What's the lesson here? What's the gift here? And what can I do differently? How can I step back into alignment? How can I embrace my true self even more? And then do that. Now, we are really being assisted on this path move moving forward. So allow yourself to just work the energy on a day to day basis. So this is really helping us to move forward, even though the energies are still running high and you may still still feel very uh, pushed and, and uh, stretched in many ways. It, it's bringing light to the things that are out of balance. And right now it's really about bringing balance to any imbalances. And it starts with the health. It starts with, you know, really stepping into your true self and really embracing all of who you are. And of course, also then, you know, the fulfillment, it's about, it's really shining light onto all those areas that are out of alignment. And, and you have that opportunity, the invitation to become aware of that and to acknowledge it and to do something about it. That's really how you can make the most out of this week and the energies that are available to us. So thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Now be sure to check out this video here about the importance of having a spiritual practice uh, to really help you stay in alignment. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Until then, make an amazingly abundant and joyful day. Namaste.